Hello, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. We're now doing stage 20 of Eagle Moss and Hero Collectors Build the Ecto 1. Now this is gonna be a really exciting issue because we it, it, there's not much to do in it, to be honest with you, but it's easily gonna have the heaviest piece that we've got in any of the builds. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be doing. We've got this ginormous uh, floor pan, I guess, that's gonna be attaching to the section that we had uh, in the last issue, issue 19. Uh, we're gonna be fitting some uh, oil splitters and another little adapter on the end there. Then we're gonna be putting it on the chassis of the car that we've done at the moment. Now the thing with this, is that it's gonna be uh, meaning the car's gonna need to be turned over. You will notice I don't have a towel down here at all. I don't intend on putting the towel down because this air filter's plastic and I can rub that plastic air filter on here all day and it's not gonna scratch. Uh, then we're gonna just put two wires in under the chassis here and under the floor plan uh, into those sections that we just attached there. So this is gonna be a bit of a fiddly job, but I really need to show you this uh, floor plan because it's something else. Now in the last stage when I did this, I gave you the wrong measurements for uh, some of these floor plans. So as you can see, that one's just over 400 grams. Okay, I'm just gonna put that to one side because this is the beast that we've got to put into this episode. <laughs> Check that out. That is absolutely ginormous, solid metal. As you can see, we've got a little speaker grill there, I'm guessing, for where the sound's going to come out. But this is heavy, and if you want to know how heavy this is, once again, I'll bring my scales over. We'll balance this on top, and we're looking at one kilogram. Just one kilogram, just this massive piece of metal here. <laughs> this is going to be fun, isn't it? Okay, so the first section we're going to do is the floor plan that we got from this side onto the front chassis here. Now, this is just going to go over the top, just like that. Now... I am going to be putting some screws into these holes here, but I'm putting them into metal. So once again, I'm going to drop a little bit of oil just into these holes here. Now the oil I'm using, once again, is just a normal three in one oil. It is on my Amazon store. Uh, but this does really help to get the, uh, the screws in, no problems at all. So that's all of them in. So the screws we're going to be putting in here are CM screws, looking like that. So we get these open, and we'll put them in. So, put this section onto that section there. Got my screwdriver handy. Let's get this together. That's the first screw in. And we just continue putting the other five screws in here. And I'll do the ones at the end for next, I think. How many does that make? <laughs> we've got three more left, so we've put three in already. Uh, two more. <laughs> I can't believe, A, how big this is, and B, how heavy this is. This is just so heavy. As a matter of fact, this whole length here is almost as uh, long as the DeLorean there. There we go, so we've got six screws in there. And that's held in absolutely perfectly, looking like that from that side, and that from that side. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, turning it over, we're gonna be putting some oil pipe splitters in each side here. And because they're going into metal, once again, just into these lug holes here, I'm just dropping a little bit of oil. And they're gonna be put in with EM screws. Now they do look different. If I show you on the camera here, this one, is gonna be going onto this side of the car where the speaker is, looking just like that. And then the other one, which is a bit more flat looking, which will obviously be going on this side. So we're gonna be putting this one in first. It goes in this way. So with the horseshoe shape facing outwards towards the end of the vehicle here. So I'm gonna put that where it needs to go and we'll get this screw loaded up. This is an EM screw. So is the first screw going in. Nice and tight. There we go, and that's the first oil pipe splitter on that side. And then we're going to do the same on the other side here. This time we've got a little lug at the bottom there that will just help us to locate that into place there. Once again, we're going to be putting another EM screw in. So that's all loaded up. Just put that into here. And get it nice and tight. What we need to do then is bring across the actual front chassis section of all the engine that we were working on last time. 
So we bring over the pan and we're actually going to be connected into these four lugs that we've got just here. We put this over the top like that. And basically in these two, we're going to be having LM screws. And in the bottom two, we're going to have IM screws. Not quite sure why we've got two different screws for that. But once again, I am just going to drop some oil just into these holes. Three. And four. And let's get the LM ones in first. I did have all the uh, screws lined up here, so I'll keep them ones over here. The LM are quite thick screws. So we get the first one in for here. Nice and tight. That's gone in perfect. We do one on the other side here. tight as I can get it there we go and then in the front two here we're going to be putting IM screws now these look exactly the same just a bit longer so we get this one in nice and tight again one and here's the last one two Make that nice and tight. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to turn this whole thing over because we need to work on the underside there. So I'm going to actually balance it on the air filter. And at the other side here, I'm going to use my Ghostbusters cup. There we go. Look at that. Improvis improvising. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to put some screws into these side here. So we've got two screw holes here, and then we've got two just at the back here, at the very back. They're all going to take EM screws. So once again, just dropping some oil down into the holes where these are going to go, and we'll get these screwed in. This is the first one. Nice and tight. Here's the second one. And then we've just got two at the back there. Exactly the same screws. Here's the third one. And last but not least, the fourth one's just going in the other side there. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is putting the oil pipes in. Now, the oil pipes are different lengths. We've got one really long one and one shorter one. It's the real long one that we want at the moment. The longer oil pipe is going to be going onto the one this side, but it's going to be attaching to the lug that we've got underneath. There is a lug just underneath there. So we need to just push that onto that. And I'm going to say the word, I know it makes a lot of you cringe when I do, nipple. <laughs> Now, if I can't get it on, which I'm having problems at the moment, I might have to put my magnifying glasses on and use my tweezers, which I'm going to have to do, I think. So bear with me. As you can see, I put my glasses on, got my tweezers. We'll get this in. <laughs> OK, when you use your tweezers, it's best just to hold the end here about three mils just from the end there. And we'll put this in. See, it's a lot easier with glasses there. Okay, so then we need to trail this pipe down through this channel here, underneath the chassis here. So it's tight. Then it's gonna go through the oil brackets, oil pipe brackets that we put in in the last issue. So we've got one this side and we've got one this side. So again, under the chassis, going to use my tweezers here to help me guide this through through that section there pull that through so it comes out that side then we want to go round the bell housing here into the distributor that we had in the last issue I don't know if you can see that down there 
hopefully one of the cameras can pick it up <laughs> and we're just going to put that on there that goes in just like that that's the first oil piping and this pipe is going to be going onto the back of this section here we've got a little lug coming off the back of the detail that we just put in i'm going to use my tweezers to get that in just like that then we're going to trowel this down and then once again this goes underneath the chassis here underneath all of these sections through the oil pipe bracket that we put in in the last issue let's feed that through and i can grab it from the other side there there we go make sure that one's nice and tight and then this just goes into the other section i don't know if you can see that at all but we've got a distributor there i might have to uh, take a picture of that to show where that goes uh, but this goes into the last sort of like nipple that we've got left i'm going to call it a nipple because that's pretty much all i can think is the correct term for it i'm guessing you bleed a brake nipple don't you so i'm guessing that is the correct term for it and there we go and that's the last oil pipe in and that's all there is to do in this issue so a uh, little bit fiddly but there you go uh issue 21 is going to be out tomorrow i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care